Welcome. Evening, peoples. Peoples of the world. <clears throat> um, so, a couple things. I, um... <clears throat> I, I made some potions. And I went and beat Golem. So I have the picks all now. Uh, well, I did that last so, uh, yesterday, didn't I? Oh, man. All right. That's not important. What I did do is I went and got a bunch of uh that uh what was it called uh life alloy. So I got a bunch of that. Um Welcome Lane. Um I'm just really just going over the plan. I, I made as many potions as I could. Uh, my only goal today is to be Ostrom Deus. That is all I want to do. Um, yeah. Currently driving. You're completely fine, man. Completely fine. Hoot. Who said hoot? Okay, that was weird. Okay, cool. You're selling the Inferno Fort because I can't seem to get that guy to spawn for some reason. Okay, I've got these two. Got a lot of them in my Cool. Okay, we got, so we got potions. I got, I got a ton of fucking potions. Um. I really don't know how this is going to go. Obviously, I want it to go good, but... If it doesn't, I mean... I'm... I'm wavering my expectations. Oh, I'm going to get too worked up over this. Realize I didn't even open this when I fought him. Um, I think the plan is going to be to use the wasp gun because it ignores enemy defense, which Austin Dreyas has a lot. Which is also why we're using the daggers, even though I made the butterfly thing. So, tomato, tomato. Oh, tired for some reason.
Yo, Link Queenie's alt. <laughs> Let's go. Um, really, I was just waiting for you because uh, I am ready. I am ready to beat him. I am going to beat him. The reason I called this a short stream is because I don't have a lot of time. Um, I got a lot of stuff to do today. Um, but no, I want to beat Ostrom Deus. Uh, as you can see, I look a little upgraded because. I went and got a bunch of potions. I made up a ton of potions. Um, enough to where it gave me permanent effects. Uh, I also went ahead and mined some Scoria bars, uh, which is why I have uh, this upgraded, the Star Tainted Generator, and the uh, Sigil of Calamitous. So, two big upgrades for us. And... I have done a little bit of research. Uh, the reason we're using the daggers, uh, I did make the butterfly one. The butterflies are pretty good. The reason I'm using the daggers and why I'm going to use the wasp gun is because they both ignore de uh, defense, a lot of defense. So, I think that's going to help us in the end. Yeah, I mean, let's go, right? Yes. Yeah, I needed to make 200 plus of each potion to get the infinite buff. Which used all of my blood orbs, but you know what? Worth it. Because, I mean, I have them forever now. So. They're infinite now, so... Alright. Let's fucking kill this clown. <laughs> That's fine. Now we got both of them out. Fucking star mines, Jesus. Ah. I thought I was gonna cleverly dodge both of them, but I only dodged one. I don't know what hit me there, but alright. Oh, come on, that was, that was baloney. That was some baloney right there. No, sir. Okay, he's getting pissed, he's getting pissed. 
Oh, one of them's down. Oh, God. I didn't know you could turn that fast. <gasps> Let's go. Oh, my God. It's... <laughs> oh, what a way to start the stream. All right, well, that's the end of the stream there, then. <laughs> no, 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 no. Go on, right. Ostrom Day. I'm not supposed to fight him for a while, but we've been trying to fight this guy who's all the way down here. <laughs> I think he's he's supposed to be <laughs> fought right before Moon Lord. <laughs> Cause look at what he dropped. He dropped the, the fragments. Oh no. I was not supposed to fight him yet. But you know what? I did it anyways. We even got a trophy. Boom. Oh, and he gave me the. That is a crazy magic spell. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to go in my hotbar. No. Alright, so now that we killed the Ostrom Deus, we should be able to mine this, right? Yes. I feel so good right now. I, I am, I'm on Cloud9. It's some kind of Starfall magic, that's what that is. Keeping it in my inventory. Okay. Well, we need to get back to the base, because we just got a lot of stuff that is, like, massive jumps and upgrades. Getting these, like, fragments of the Celestial, the Celestial fragments, crazy. That is a crazy upgrade. Uh, but let's, let's read his lore first. On our world, this being is revered as the god of the night sky. It is said to devour dying stars and birth new ones in, in return. Unlike the many gods you or I know, it is guiltless, an important distinction, for it was equally as diseased as they. The infection that tainted its body is from beyond Terraria. Neither I nor Dradon recognize it fully. Within, With its will subsumed, it hurled a chunk of infested astral matter at our world, then came to guard it. Thankfully, such a grandiose being that walks among the stars is likely not truly dead. While the land has paid a terrible price, the, wrong, the price of a wrongful conviction is higher still. Alright, let's read about the astral infection now. 
This twisted dreamscape is a star-born equivalent of the mundane rot you see in your lands. I do not claim to understand the process in detail, but even the stars above can die. Left unchecked, their corpses bloat and fester. Typically some semblance of order is maintained, it is not unlike the circle of life. Cosmic beings patrol the fathomless void and pick at the carrion, leaving nothing but clean bones. The infection itself is a disturbance from deep space. It has a mind of its own, projecting its will upon life and land. Those who minds can grasp the true form of the universe are truly are largely immune. They cannot be starstruck by a supposed higher truth, let alone one preached by a pustule. <laughs> Damn, okay. <laughs> I wonder if these guys are better than my blades. I guess we'll see. Hey, okay, solar fragments. Crazy stuff could be made with these. If I'm really smart. Well, actually, a lot of the stuff you make with these needs to be made as an ancient manipulator. Shit. <laughs> I can't have, I don't have that yet. Just because the lore said something about carrion doesn't mean I need to give you carrion now. As I can go. I'm not telling you about carrion. You don't need to know anything about carrion. I made you the promise already. I'll tell you about carrion when we hit that milestone. But until then, you're just not going to learn about it. I... I want to make these two magic weapons, but I have to wait. Maybe. Maybe I will. I'll think about it. These are really cool looking wings, but they don't help me. Ancient manipulator. Fuck. <laughs> so much relies on me having an ancient manipulator. I could go fucking like that right now. But I really don't wanna. <laughs> How do I turn this into bars? An ancient manipulator, of course. Of course. I'll be right back.
I've returned. Whoa, there's a lot of money down here. Not that I really needed more money, but, um, that's really upsetting. It's upsetting that I can't, I got all these, these upgrades and I can't use them right now. Really? Fucking perforators. Another one? Dude, <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> Who does the boss log say I need to fight next? Fishron? Fair enough. I can do Fishron. Um, there's a guy that sells the worm, right? So I don't have to go hunting for it. Pretty sure, at least. I kind of like these this summon this. They aren't supposed to look like a ring of fire. They just orbit me, but because I have so many slots, it looks like a ring of fire. What is it? It's this right here. It's the, the Star Spawn Helix Staff. Is it you? It sells the worm. No, no, it is not. Who sells the truffle worm? I know it's one of you over here. Hmm. Man, who sells the worm? No, it's one he is. There it is. I'm probably going to need to buy a few. Alright, let's go to the ocean.
Why is it stuck as nighttime? Let's not do that. Sir, sir, relax, relax, sir. Ow, those bubbles hurt a lot. Trick is to just keep moving. Ow. There we go. Whew. Oh. Fucking fish run. Okay. Let's read his lore. Outlandish as they may seem, this species is the single mightiest of the seas. They are relentless hunters and can easily spend significant time out of the water. Folklore holds that the Fishrons claim heritage from the true dragons countless years back. While there are many such tales of creatures hailing from draconic descent, this case is factual. Genetic heritage or not, the Fishrons lack dragon blood and auric souls, I would well know. Sure, bud. Yeah, sure. I only got all the cool stuff I wanted from this. Hello, dolphin. I do really love that weapon. But, unfortunately, it's really just not that useful right now. I got every single weapon from him. I even got the uh, the Sharknado staff. It's kind of crazy. But uh, so yeah, I don't have to fight him again. Cool. fighting next you all right back to the jungle it is then I don't even have enough plague cells God. so I have to go to the fucking jungle here we're just gonna go straight inside Hey, Queen Bee. Hey, another Queen Bee.
You know, the fact that I can't even see what's being killed. Yes, this is what true power is. I should not have this. In all respective like regards, I'm not supposed to have this stomach staff yet. And I'm not supposed to have this yet. <laughs> But hey, you know, we earned it. Why is, like, no plague things trying to spawn on me? I need to go deeper. I'll go deeper. There's some. I love seeing all this uh, chlorophyte growing. That makes me happy. Regardless of if the uh, chlorophyte is still usable to me or not, but... Oh my god, look at her health going down. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever killed Plantera that fast. <laughs> that was kind of crazy. Too much? Is this too much?
More? Okay. Let me know when you've had enough. Is that an Uzi? It is. It is an Uzi. Do you understand the message now? Okay. They know not to mess with me now. So much treasure on the ground that I just can't pick up. Oh well. Oh, there's a goblin army? Anything in that direction is dead. <laughs> I defeated the goblin army without ever even seeing a goblin. More like goblin pile, yeah. Exactly.
Okay. Now, how do I make this thing again? Uh, iron and obsidian. Okay. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Iron. Obsidian. Almost out of obsidian, actually. I should probably get more obsidian soon. Okay. Let's make this thing. Plague Nuke Barrage ready for launch. He's dead. <sighs> I don't know why I still stress about the bosses. After we beat Ostrom Deus, nothing should really pose a threat. But I still get nervous. Alright, let's read this. An innocent queen forced to bear an agonizing existence. This is nothing short of a crime against nature. Without consulting me, Dradon sought to weaponize the already well-organized jungle bees. When he revealed his finished project, I was enraged. He had ended up enslaving them. It was despicable. Vile, even. Dradon cared little for my outrage and returned to his other work without further incident. From that point on, I stopped making requests of Dradon. He had shown me his true colors. In my later days, I was far too... Far from virtuous, but I would never shackle a creature to fight in my name. That would make me no better than the divine scoundrels I pursued.
In fact, an armor plating. Let's see what we can make with this. Ah, summon stuff. I don't need summoning stuff. Yeah, looks like there was really nothing to gain for me from that. But regardless, it was another boss checked off. Who's next? Who's next on my chopping... We might be cooked. <laughs> we might actually be cooked. <laughs> we might be cooked. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> We're so cooked. <laughs> oh. We're so cooked. Oh, she drops such good items though. I need everything that she drops. Oh no. All right. This is going to be bad. I have to find one of those prismatic lace wings. And kill it. We're so cooked. We are so fucking cooked. It's like there's no way. Oh, do I not? I don't have a bug net. Give me one second. Not those. This. Please, thank you. Okay, I've got the prismatic lace wing. I need to make it to where I can hurt the critters. <sighs> okay, hold on. I gotta go to the fucking spawn to do this. Not you. Don't hurt critters. False. Okay. Now let's go. Such a bad idea. Um, Now that we're at the point where we have to fight her, I'm scared. I'm scared of her. <laughs> oh! How am I supposed to dodge those? Holy shit! Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay. Holy shit! I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe during that fight. <laughs> Alright, what's her lore? Though her title is Lofty, she is more an emissary for the powers beyond the enforces uh, of nature. In broad daylight, she can channel the primordial light itself, making her nigh untouchable. Thankfully, left with only starlight to wield, she falls like any other graceless despot. Despo. Thankfully, left with only starlight to wield, she falls like... Uh, her penchant for leeching the strength of other great beings is uniquely deplorable. It made her seekingly obedient, dependent, but willingly so, as they enabled to her to slay her at her base thirst. I had deigned to slay her myself for her treachery, but she was a notoriously evasive mark. Yeah. Yeah, it mentions in it mentions fighting her in the day. Fighting her in the day, basically impossible. Basically impossible to fight her in the daytime. But um, yeah. spell this is definitely going to be my new summon Jesus Christ why are so many stars falling right now can we not let's get the goblin here Look at my rainbow boys. <laughs> my rainbow swords. All the things that she drops are fucking great. Like look like just check out this melee weapon. That's fucking crazy. Her wings are really good. She gives you a thing that gives you infinite uh, flight. The kaleidoscope is crazy. This bow is crazy. I don't think I need to fight her again, though. Did I get everything? I did not. I didn't get the rainbow cursor. Or her pet. Or her die. Actually, I really want her die. Never mind. Okay, yeah, we do gotta fight her again.
I'm stalling. I'm stalling for daytime. Fuck. I killed her right before morning, really. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I really wanted to show you what she looks like during the daytime. She looks fucking crazy. Like that thing said, she's impossible to kill during the day. And I still didn't get to die. Okay, whatever. I didn't get everything I want from her, but whatever. It's fine. Betsy? I don't want to fight Betsy. All right, that, would, that would require me to go through the whole fucking bullshit with... I can, however, show you my two favorite events. Now, going through, go, get, fighting Betsy, you have to go through this stupid, like, wave thing, and it's just really annoying and stupid. I wish I could just summon Betsy and just fight her, but you have to go through, like, 15 waves of just tower defense, basically, and I don't like it. <laughs> Plasm. Silk. I need pumpkins. Um, I'm going to show you the Christmas and Halloween thing. Is the Halloween and Christmas thing? Yes. And some very cool ones. Some very cool ones. They're also like waves, but you it's just kill. It's just kill, 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 and you get higher counts. Um, which is more fun than the Eternia Crystal thing. Um, the plasm. Yeah, I need pumpkins for that. But this, I believe, is just silk. So I can do the the. I, I'll do the Christmas one first. We're close. Well, we're closer to Halloween, actually. I was about to say we're closer to Christmas, but no, we're closer to Halloween. But um, yeah. So I'll do the Christmas one first. I do have to wait till nighttime. So, unfortunate, but... Um, a 
also want to toggle that thing back on. That uh helps me not hurt critters. Yeah. Stan Pines, the traveling merchant. Okay. Hopefully he'll be back fast. Do I have where this upgrades up? No. <laughs> no. You're back? Well, I'll come back. Uh um. I don't want to just sit around here and wait, right? I don't think any of us does. But right now it's just like elf zombies and gingerbread men. Oh, but there's the first boss. Evergreen. They're very easy. And you'll see why they're very easy. Because they just keep spawning. <laughs> And multiple of them can spawn at once. And then we got a robot Santa. And then there's one more. And this doesn't end until morning, by the way. Yep, there she is, the Ice Queen. I think the Halloween ones are, are cooler, but I do really love the Christmas ones too. Um, but yeah, they all drop their own like special things, which is cool.
But you see why this gets pretty difficult when, uh... Multiple bosses can just spawn. <laughs> uh, the Halloween one uh, doesn't have as many. I think it only has two bosses. But both of them are so cool. Now, don't get me wrong. I like I like the Santa and the uh, the Christmas tree. I do like them. Uh, the, it's the ice queen that I'm just like, ah, eh, okay. Not necessarily Christmassy, but hey, you know, like, all right, whatever. Oh yeah, and then we got Krampus down there too. And now, keep in mind, this doesn't stop until the morning comes. And it just keeps getting crazier. There there can be points where there are 30 bosses on the screen at once. Chill, queen. I've got too much stuff in my inventory. I've, I've already made it to the final wave. Uh, now it's just about getting the highest points. Which I will do. And technically there is a stronger version of this that you unlock later on. What's it, what's the predictions? What's what's gonna be my final score? I don't know if you guys can see my score. It, it looks like it's behind Geshi. Uh, but I'm currently at uh, five thousand five hundred fifty-two. Twelve thousand. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good guess. I think the highest score I've ever gotten, which I think I got on the Halloween one, um, was like twenty-seven thousand.
Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Never mind. No, it doesn't end. It does not end until the sun comes up. Alright, so, final guesses on my score. I saw my final score before I, it went away. Can you stick with 12,000? Okay. It was 19,000. <laughs> I didn't see the, the numbers below that, but it was 19,000. Yeah, that was crazy. Uh, let's look at the trophies. Let's see how many we got uh, each. We killed 34 Ice Queens, 34 Everscreams, and 31 Santa NK1s. <laughs> In one night. <laughs> Ninety nine bosses in one night. It's a little crazy. Um, I know we can ride the little uh Santa tank, so that's probably going to be my mount from now on. Oh yeah, well, it was dropping these. I've never seen this this before. Mechanical scrap. Oh, I can make I can make the Santa outfit. Interesting. Or if I didn't get one of the items, I could make it. Okay, cool. Cool. Um, Razor Pine is kind of cracked. That's a really good magic weapon. Um, but I've got better things, honestly. All of my things... All, my first three magic weapons here home in on enemies, and then the Star Shower is just crazy good. Um, the Christmas Tree Sword is really funny. You throw out uh, ornaments and Christmas stars that do uh, extra damage, which is really funny. Uh, 
I'm going to get one of each trophy and put them on the big arena next to the house. Got our little tank. I can't wait to show you the Halloween one. The Halloween one is so much fun. There are only two bosses, but then there's a lot of, like, really tough, like, uh, just regular enemies. Like poltergeists and headless horsemen's. I think you're gonna I think you're gonna like I think you're gonna like the, the Halloween one a lot. It is very spoopy. Alright, pumpkin medallion. Yep. Thirty pumpkins, five ectoplasm. Easy. I really just love this rainbow of swords behind me. It's great. <laughs> and um yeah, we'll do the same thing. We'll just we'll just fast forward it tonight time. It starts off with just some scarecrows. Some hellhounds. And then the first boss. <laughs> His name is Morning Wood. But morning as in like you're mourning a loved one. <laughs> And not the other kind of morning wood. And then there's the second boss. The Pumpkin King. And then we got a polter poltergeist down there. I'm looking for the Headless Horseman. He drops a really awesome item. Actually, he drops a couple really nice items. Oh, there he was. I saw him for a second. He didn't drop what I wanted him to, though. And the Pumpkin King is actually kind of fucking hard. <laughs> like, he hurts. Like, you know how I was moving, uh, uh, I was, like, standing still during the Christmas one? I actually kind of have to move around during this one. <laughs> this one is actually a bit difficult. This event also drops the better items, in my opinion.
This one gets actually really scary uh, when you get the upgraded version of it later on. Again, guesses on my final score. I am at 8,250. And morning happens once this little, the, the timer here says 4.30 a.m. Twenty five K? That would be sick if I got that. Headless Horseman really comes out of nowhere, huh? So focused. <laughs> oh, my dog died. Whoa, those fucking tornadoes are coming, or torpedoes are coming from out of nowhere. You're all the way over there, dude. You're gonna keep shooting at me from all the way over there? That's a bit rude. Ow. I killed old blue. How good to do that. I just passed 25k.
Okay, so my final score. You want to hear it? I beat my record, by the way. <laughs> oh, yes, and I got the really good hat. It was 34,000. <laughs> 34,000. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how many trophies we got for each one. 67 Pumpkin and 54 Morning Wood. Holy shit. <laughs> That's over 100. Yeah. That's over 100 bo bosses beaten in one night. I got two of the jack o' lantern masks. Nice. Alright, now let's take a look at some of these things we got. Because, uh, like I said, the Halloween stuff actually is useful. Candy corn rifle, uh, jack o' lantern launcher, huntsman's blade, stake launcher. Okay, Mothron. Uh, you saw me probably equip pretty early on the witch's broom. Which is such an amazing mount. It's an infinite flight witch broom. You could just get on the witch broom and fly forever. Um, no, steak like like wooden steak, not meat steak. Um, and I believe this spooky one is actually better than my grappling hook, so. Spider egg, so a pet spider. Uh, and then, yeah, this. This, uh, pumpkin-scented candle. It's a light pet. So it's just a little tiny mini pumpkin pet. Little tiny. Little tiny pumpkin. Um, but I know we can make some wings. This increases minion stuff. So not necessarily my wheelhouse. I'm more magic-y. Um, fairy wings. <laughs> it's not very magic specific, just more damage, period. That's kind of crazy, but I can't make that. I need bullshit for that. Resistance max summons. Yep. Um. I don't know how I get the Hercules Beetle, I forget how. Um, we get the Stasis. We could get all the way up to this.
But I think what I have currently is better. I already have a ton of minion slots anyways, and I'd rather do Astral Explosions and uh, a ton of debuffs with my minions instead of just Shadow Flame, right? Yeah. Now this, absolute nucleogenesis, I need to make that when I get to the chance. So. Even though I'm not being a summoner class, I, I need to make that. Um, but yeah. Hello, Pinhead. Hey, Mothron. Uh, the thing that's going on right now is called a solar eclipse. Uh, where a bunch of, like, horror movie villains show up and you have to kill them and they all drop like very cool stuff. So we got like vampires and the thing from the Black Lagoon, Pinhead, uh, Mr. Fly, Mothron, uh, the Cyclops, yeah, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Frankenstein, the Psycho, so we got Michael Myers. Grim Reaper. That one's just self-explanatory. I believe, I believe werewolves are here, too. I think. And Mothron is like the mini-boss of the Eclipse event. While wow, my swords take care of the eclipse, who, who do I gotta fight next? I'm not fighting Betsy. I'm just not. I'm just, I'm just not fighting Betsy. I'll fight the Martian Madness. The Martian one's pretty fun, actually. I'm getting really close to fighting Moon Lord. And I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, that's the next god I'm pissing off, by the way. Moon Lord. The Lord of the Moon.
with my friend. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> After I do the Martian one, I'll probably end the stream. Because like I said, this was going to be a short stream anyways. I thought it was going to take me a couple hours to beat Ostrom Deus, so. <laughs> well, we actually made a lot of progress to Moon Lord, so. We actually beat Empress of Light somehow on the first try. Yeah, I, I spanked Ostrom Deus. <laughs> I beat him in the first, like, 20 minutes of stream. I mean, honestly, we did a lot. In just a couple hours... And in just a couple hours, we did Morningwood, Pumpkin, Everscream, Santa NK... Ice Queen, we're gonna do Martian Madness, we did Plaguebringer, we did Empress of Light, and Ostrom Deus. That's a lot of bosses in one go. But you can see here, we're only halfway done. <laughs> I've only beaten 17 out of 34 bosses. <laughs> 9 out of the 12 mini bosses. And after Moon Lord, things scale up so fucking high with difficulty. Oh my god, after Moon Lord dies, things just get crazy. Crazy hard. To the point where I don't think I've ever actually beaten the final boss of Calamity, but we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I got messages. See, the Eclipse is an annoying event because it goes all day, and as soon as the event ends, it's nighttime. <laughs> Martian Madness. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to go up into space and hang out there for a second. What's everything the Broken Hero Sword is for? I'm curious. A bunch of swords and a toilet. Yeah, that checks out. That's a crazy... Okay, well, <laughs> I was about to say, that's a crazy damage melee sword, and then I saw what it takes to make it, and I was like, oh, okay, that's why. <laughs> Oh. 
That's actually really easy to make. Arc of the Cosmos. Holy shit, that's a cool sword. Holy shit. I think I need to do melee for my next playthrough and stick with it. Because <laughs> if you remember when we first started this, I was like, I'm going to do melee. And then I didn't. <laughs> I gave up because I kept not finding any good swords. Okay, finally, the eclipse has ended. Yippee. Okay, now we just go up to space. I need this Martian probe to come down here and scan me. I forgot this deal. Leave me alone, man. Asteroid fragment. Can I just make the summon thing? Can I please? It's just... <laughs> Must you? Yes, please, go. There we go. Martians are invading now. Yeah, we got little Martian guys. The UFO did not drop what I wanted it to. <laughs> now 
Hey, uh, second chance. Anything that can actually damage me like that scares me. <laughs> okay. That is one of the things I wanted. Okay. Well, that's the Martians. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, yeah, sorry for this short stream. I gotta call it here. Um, I got stuff to go do and business to take care of and stuff like that. Um <laughs> hope you enjoyed it anyways. Um we finally beat that stupid ass god of SARS, so Finally. <laughs> uh, and I'll play more. I'll play more tomorrow. Um, I actually, I might go to the store tonight and get some batteries for my controller so we can play some more Yeehaw Skyrim tomorrow. Or Elden Ring. One of the two. Maybe. Uh, three days of Terraria in a, way, in a row might be too much. I don't know. Um, yeah. I uh, hope you have a great day. <laughs> um... Take care of yourself. Eat a nice meal. Um, be nice to yourself. And I'll see you next time. Peace.